Well, the wide area network is when all the ISP around the globe, they come together and they form interconnectivity among themselves. That is how it forms the wide area network. Let's try to understand this while using the live example. Well, this is the live example of the fiber cable connectivity among all the ISPs around the globe. So all these ISP they have connected with each other by using this fiber cable connectivity. And you can see the most nation to nation connectivity is goes under ocean, which is also known as submarine cable connectivity. If you want, you can also visit this website, which is submarinecablemap.com. And you can explore how this connectivity has been formed among the ISPs in the globe. So this is one of the example I found on internet and that is how we lay fiber optic cable under ocean. So all these ISP they basically connect with each other by using this method. When it comes to fiber connectivity between the ISPs, the ISP connectivity is divided into three categories. First is tier 1 ISP, second is tier 2 ISP and third is tier 3 ISP. Now let's talk about all these ISPs one by one. Let's assume you would like to use internet in your home. So what you do basically you contact your local internet service provider where they come to your house and they provide their own internet services. So what they do basically they install some kind of wireless router and you are able to connect to internet right. So these ISPs which are located near to your residential area these ISPs are called tier 3 ISP. But the problem with this tier 3 ISP is they are not located like on large geographical location. So they are basically limited under some small distance. In most part they are located near to the residential areas. So if you have like a society where 100 houses are located. So this tier 3 ISP they actually install their server room and the network room and they provide internet service to you directly from that particular residential area. But in order to provide this service, they have to take service from other ISP and that ISP is known as tier 2 ISP. Tier 2 ISP is also sometimes known as upstream provider because they provide service to tier 3 ISP. Now let's talk about the role handled by the tier 2 ISP. The tier 2 ISP basically mediator between tier 1 ISP and tier 3 ISP because they take service from tier 1 and provide service to tier 3 ISP. This tier 2 ISP handles like very important role because they cover most of the big geolocation. Now let's talk about tier 1 ISP. So all these fiber optic cable what we see connected among the nation this is connected by the tier 1 ISP. So the job of tier 1 ISP is to connect between the nation around the globe. So all these tier 1 ISP they come together and connect with each other and then they provide service to tier 2 ISP. And then tier 2 ISP provides service to tier 3 ISP and tier 3 ISP provides service to us. That is how we all connected with each other by using this hierarchy. But this is not mandatory that you have to connect to tier 3 ISP in order to take the internet service. In some enterprise offices what happened this tier 1 or tier 2 ISP they have direct connectivity available in those buildings or offices. So you can also take the services directly from tier 2 or tier 1 ISP. So the wide area network means when the, all the ISPs around the globe they come together and they form interconnectivity they basically create wide area network. The wide area network is also called the internet because when we as a user become a part of this wide area network we actually connect to internet. So this is not something you as a user connect to internet basically there are many many web servers, file servers and all different type of servers like Google server, Facebook server they are all connected to this wide area network and they all become part of the internet. So that is how we connect with each other and use the internet services by using wide area network. So that is how we form wide area network and internet. Now let's move on to our next topic which is virtual private network also called VPN.